morning today. So can you see my screen? Perfectly. So yes, so uh, for I just want to give you a brief introduction also for the Maldives. So Maldives is actually comprised of small islands. So this is actually, uh, it's a unique destination. The idea here is that uh, one island is dedicated to one resort. So it's unique, it's very private for every resort. So let's start with Lily Beach. So Lily Beach is actually located in South Ariatol. So this is uh, actually like in the center of Maldives. So coming here, uh, we have two modes of transfer. One is actually by sea plane. This is the main mode of transfer that we use. So uh, upon uh, arrival in the Maldives, you will be met by our representative and then they will bring you to our lounge. So for the seaplane transfer, it's 20 minutes flight plus five minutes speedboat ride to the resort. Now, the other option for the transfer is by domestic. However, this is um, not really used. It's only used for guests who's arriving in the evening. Now, here's the resort. So the resort is actually 600 meters in width and 110 meters in length. So this is actually divided into three categories. We have our fun zone, we have our quiet zone, and of course, best of both worlds. So the quiet zone is starting from our spa until the water villa area. And then for the fun zone, that's on the other side of the island where we have the, the kids club, the gym, and uh, yeah, we have all those activities there. So for the Platinum Plan, so Lily Beach is actually the first resort to introduce Platinum Plan in the Maldives. So Lily Beach opened in 2009. So uh, during that time, we have also launched Platinum Plan. So Platinum Plan includes, of course, meet and assist on arrival, access to our uh, lounge. And of course, we have a selection of 80 premium wines. Cheese cigarette is also included. Of course, we are not uh, really. <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, yes. Sorry. Yeah, and then of course, Lili Ma. So for the Lili Ma, we have a breakfast buffet, lunch, and dinner. And of course, Nordic equipment, uh, access to all non motorized activities, kids' club. Premium mini bar as well is also included in, in uh, our premium platinum plan. And again, with the premium platinum plan, uh, we have three excursions included, which you can choose from Coral Garden Snorkeling, Fishing Trip, Sunset Cruise, and Trip to Local Island. But aside from these uh, activities included, we also have the uh, chargeable activities, which is swimming with manta rays, whale sharks, and we also have this uh, swimming with nurse sharks as well. And for the for the villa categories, we have nine villa categories. So it comprises of uh, <clears throat> fifty six uh, sorry sixty nine beach villas and fifty six uh, water villas. So here is our beach villa category. This is our standard category. So as you can see here, this is actually like a, a Maldivian design. So with the dark wood colors, this is the Maldivian design that we have. So for this beach villa categories, we have 46 units. And here you have a direct access to the, to the beach. And for this villa category, we can either accommodate three adults or two adults and two children. Or if there's an infant, we can also put additional um, uh, child baby cot. And the next one is the beach suite. So as you can see, it's different because uh, this one is renovated in 2019. So the, the color is lighter compared to the uh, previous one, the beach villas that we have. For this villa category as well, we can accommodate three adults or two adults plus two children, plus again, a baby cot. And this one, you also have a direct access to the beach. Now we have the beach suite with jacuzzi. 
So the interior design is quite similar to the beach suite. The only difference will be the jacuzzi, which is also like a size of a pool, a plunge pool. So in here, we can also accommodate three adults or of course, two adults plus two children. And again, a baby cot can be put there. And then we have the beach suite with pool. So again, the interior is the same as our beach suite and beach suite with jacuzzi difference will be the, the pool. So with this one, same three adults or two adults and two children, we can accommodate plus baby cot. But for uh, larger families, we also have the option of beach family villa. So this is an uh, interconnecting villa. So the, the style and the design is the same as the beach villa. The only difference here is that it's there's a door. But each room has their own bathroom, own mini bar, and they also have like their own key card. So if you're traveling with, with friends as well, so you don't have to disturb the other room when you go out or come in to the villa. So this villa is also uh, located uh, in our fun zone where it's near the, the kids club, the gym, the tennis area. So this is really good for, for families. And of course, we have the beach residence. So this is the highest villa category that we have for the beach category here in Lili Beach. So for this beach residence, um, we provide private butler service and unlimited access to one of our a la carte restaurants. So in here, it's uh, we can accommodate three adults, two adults or plus two children. Or case by case basis, we can of course accommodate three adults plus two children also. Now we go to our water villas. First category is the Lagoon Villa. Actually, this is a very unique design because you enter the villa from the beach area, but then you open the door and then you will have the view of the ocean. But we consider this as, as a water villa category. And for this villa category, again, we can accommodate three adults or two adults plus two children plus baby cot. And then next one here, we have the deluxe water villa. So we have 36 units of deluxe water villa. Um, for the water villas uh, with the accom um, accommodation, we are quite uh, not flexible with the number of uh, adults or children because the setup, we have this upon entry, we have the glass uh, floor. So we cannot actually add an extra bed. Although we have a uh, extra size day bed where we can uh, put like accommodate uh, one child or two ch two small children or one adult there. And then we have here the Sunset Water Suite, which is the highest uh, villa category that we have for uh, overwater villa. So for this uh, villa, we can accommodate um, three adults or two adults plus two children, but in case uh, Case by case basis, we can also accommodate three adults with two children or four adults plus one child. Case by case basis. And also, we provide private butler service for the Sunset Water Suite and also uh, one private Sunset Cruise. Now we have our restaurants and bars. So here in Lady Beach, we have four restaurants and four bars. So our main restaurant is Lili Maa. Lili Maa, we serve here daily buffet breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And for the dinner, we have different team. So sometimes we have this um, seafood night, we have the Mediterranean night, we have um, Asian fusion night. So it's different. So the, the guests won't be bored, right? When they when they dine in our restaurant. And then next we have the Tamarind restaurant. So this restaurant is an overwater restaurant, and we serve here um Thai and Indian cuisine. So for this restaurant, the guests can access this if they stay for more than four nights. Now, with the beach residence a while ago in Sunset Water Suite, they have the unlimited access to this restaurant. Say, 
so there's no need for them to to book in advance also because we're we will prepare the the chair for them and of course we have uh, aqua so for aqua we also provide here the uh, five course uh, fine dining and then we also have the tepanyaki for dinner or for for lunch as well we have the option and here in aqua we also have the option for a la carte uh, main, uh, a la carte uh, lunch so it's a four course lunch and in the evening we have the fine dining and the tepanyaki and now we go to our bar so spirit bar so this bar is just located right next to our uh, reception area. So this bar is open from 10 o'clock in the morning until 1 o'clock in the morning. So for example, if the guest you know, still wants to have some, some drinks and the, the, the restaurants are already closed, they can go to this bar until 1 o'clock in the morning. And if they still want to have some more drinks after 1 o'clock, they can have the mini bar in their villas. And then next uh, is our vibes uh, bar. So this is actually our fun zone. So here we have one of the public pool, adults pool, and children's pool as well. And in the evening, we uh, arrange uh, some activities here like um, DJ night, um, live band. So yeah, so this is the fun zone area. And of course, we also have the private dining experience. So if the guests would like to have a lobster dinner, a romantic dinner set up, we can arrange that. Again, we have another uh, bar which is located in uh, near water sports area. So if the guests uh, would like to hang out in our water sports area and do some water sports activities, they don't really need to go to their villa or to, to restaurants to grab some drink. So it's uh, easily accessible so they can have alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks as well. And aqua pool bar, here is the quiet zone. So for the aqua pool bar, this for the pool, uh, 16 years old and above can only swim here. But children can actually dine in aqua, but not swim. So this is for adults only pool. And of course, water sports and uh, diving activities. So for those who love to dive, Maldives is the perfect place for you. We do have lots of courses available. So if you are... Uh, planning to come to the Maldives, we have everything for you. And for the water sports, yeah, non-motorized water sports activities is also included in our platinum plan. So non-motorized water sports is including um, glass boat, pedal boat, um, surfing, catamaran, uh, sailing. But for sailing and catamaran, this will be for the experienced users only. Nikki, and very the, quick. Sorry, very quickly. I just wanted. Sorry, I interrupted you. I we have a couple of questions, and they're really good questions. I want to ensure that we get the answer. So Amanda wants to know, uh, besides the platinum option, are they? Uh, what other options are there um, aside from the all inclusive option? For the meal plan, so Lily Beach is actually offering uh, all inclusive only. So Lily Beach is an all inclusive resort. So we don't have uh, BB, half board, full board options. Only That's platinum plan. Yeah. Only platinum. And then the other question is like families versus couples. What would you say is the the percentage? Like, you know, when I was there, I want to say, um, Gail, you were asking this, but when I was there, I saw families, I saw a lot of couples too. So I think mm -hmm. it's like, I want to say almost about the same, depending on the seasonality, you're probably going to see more families over couples. Nikki, correct me if I'm wrong. No, that is right. Exactly. And it depends on the season, actually. Like, mm -hmm. for example, for, for low season, like now, uh, mostly we have couples. Right. And for peak season, starting um, October, December, January, it's mostly families coming right. in. Yeah. Right, right. And then one thing that I wanted to mention, um, is that, uh, and this is uh, from my experience, um, when I was there, 
in October of last year. Um, and I feel this is really important. Both of the hotels that we're going to learn about today are um, in islands that are natural islands versus man-made islands. And there is a huge difference when you are looking at the flora and the fauna of the area. Quite literally, you can see, you can snorkel, and of course you can dive, but of course snorkel right outside of your villa. And that's a lot to say, surely, when you're comparing with some of those big brands that everybody knows of, and where if you jump in the water, which the water, the, that's no justice, no pictures will do any justice what the water looks like and feels like in the Maldives. But the fact that you can jump literally from your um, from your villa or from your overwater bungalow and like snorkel and see you know, all the life and the marine life there is actually quite spectacular. And that only happens because this is a natural island and not a man-made island. So I know Lily Beach takes a lot of pride on the fact that they take care of the island and of course it's people. And I feel like it's really important for all of us to understand what are the perks of having that. Um, sorry, Nikki, I interrupted you. That's just, I think it's important to, to yes. mention that before we move on. And just to just to add to that one, so Lily Beach is located in South Ariato, and South Ariato is well known for mantas and whale sharks. So most of the guests who wants to experience this activity, they uh they go to South Ariato because this area here, it's like uh, all throughout the season that you can actually see uh manta and whale shark. But of course, I mean, if it's not guaranteed, like every time you go, you will be able to see. But if you will not be able to see, again, we can schedule another trip for you, just for you to experience this one. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, of course, so some guests, when they come to the Maldives, they still want to make sure to, you know, to stay in shape, not only eat, drink. So we have also our gym. And of course, we have our uh, tennis area here and we have an in-house tennis coach. So uh, if you would like to, to play on your own, that will be like free of charge also. But if you require like uh, a lesson from our coach, then that will be, of course, chargeable. And of course, uh, yoga. Yoga, this one is uh, included uh, free of charge also. Uh, sunrise yoga, six times a week. So if you prefer to have a private yoga, then of course that will be on uh, a chargeable basis. Right. And the entertainment that we have, every, every night we have entertainment here from live music, DJ, uh, Maldivian Boduberu. Maldivian Boduberu is like their uh, local... Um, how do you say dance with the their drum? So and then we also have a Balinese dance. So it's quite unique. And we also have this cultural night where we present how uh, Maldivians uh, uh, live here. So yeah. So there's always something. And of course, it's pa. So yeah, aside from aside from massage, we also offer this um singing bowl if if you're familiar with that one this crystal bowl so that one we also uh, uh use after um massage or before the massage for total relaxation right and kids club for the kids club, yes, we have indoor and outdoor area of the kids club. But most of the most of the time, the activities that we have for for our children is um outdoor activities like swimming, fishing, water sports activities. So there's always something for the children, and of course painting as well. And for uh maybe for the movie time, it's only scheduled once. So all of them are are active, and we do have like to uh, kids club attendant and babysitting as well um, maybe some of you would ask babysitting is also available for uh, children so for the kids club we accommodate three from three years old until 12 years old in our kids club and um, from for for three years and below 
uh, then the uh, guardian or the parents need to to accompany them or Mickey, babysitting. Is there a minimum um, age for families with younger kids that they want to stay at the overwater bungalows? For the overwater bungalows, uh, normally we it's from three to before below 11 years oh sorry below 12 years old yeah okay. but uh, yeah we are not really strict on that one however uh the parents need to sign the form perfect fantastic yay this is great um if we don't have any questions about this i think we should move to um to our next um beautiful hotel i know everybody's on his time crunch so I want to ensure that everybody has time. Yes. Yeah. So I'm done actually. So it's just our awards. And thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for listening. And now I'll give the floor to Aish, who will present our lovely hideaway. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Thanks, Nikki. All right. Shall I go ahead? Yes, please. Awesome. Take us to paradise yet again. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Give one second. All right, I'll take you to Hideaway Beach Resort and Spa. Hideaway has been in the market for the last 18 years. Um, it started with a yacht marina to just beach villas. From there, we expanded the island to water villas. And now we have the new edition, which I will go through with you, signature collection by Hideaway. Let me just uh, locate where Hideaway for you is. As I say, mostly the uh, Maldives is, um, the, the, the atolls are located as a necklace of islands. Um, and Kafumale Atoll is in the middle of this um, location. And then Ari Atoll is just across over where the um, Lily Beach is. But we are located at the northmost point of Maldives, which is the Hadal Atoll. Uh, we have, uh, there are two ways to get to the island. We have one airport, domestic airport, just 20 minutes away from the island, um, which is currently being refurbished and being done as a international runway setting right mm. now. So as we speak, mm. and by next year, we will have private jet landings also available. Oh, nice. Big addition for us. And we are really excited about this. So yes, yeah. Of a beautiful Huge. hideaway beach resort and spa. Yeah. As Natalia said, it's one of the biggest islands in the north part, and it's lush greenery and the surrounding um, turquoise green blue ocean is all natural to Maldives. So this is just as you as she mentioned, from one side of the island, there's a um there's a there's a river or a or a, a channel which goes through, and then we are blessed with another reefs also. So we are blessed with two reefs around the island and. Some of the species, um, the distance that we are located, we are located far away, but this is an advantage for us because uh, some of the species or the marine life that you don't see in the uh, in populated area in Maldives, they, here you can find it. So this is for a diver or a snorkeling person who loves underwater life, this is heaven. And we have some of the periods of the eye um, uh, during the season. So we have whale sharks coming around. We have manta rays. And literally to the island towards the evening, we have about uh, baby sharks and stingrays always comes near the island. So it's beautiful and it's amazing. Yeah. Um, I won't go through a lot of this information because this is the same as uh, Lily Beach. So as soon as you come into the airport, our representatives will take care of you and you'll be taken to our beautiful lounge. And from there, there are two ways to get to the island. One is the domestic transfer, which I was talking about, uh, to the Hanimadu Airport. This is 45 minutes from C, uh, from the domestic uh, airport to Malaya International Airport of Domestic and 20 minutes speedboat ride to the island. And then we have the most prominent and the best way that I would say to get to the island is the seaplane transfer. This takes about 60 to 75 minutes, but this 60 to 75 minutes, it's an absolute dream come true. I'm in awe all the time when I'm traveling because the landscape of the islands and the atolls and how they are located, I mean, the view and the aerial view is amazing. And every time it's like you see something different or something new coming up because of the waves and the, you know, the weather, it takes the islands and the shapes, it takes over different in different ways. It's amazing. 
Uh, Aisha, very good. Sorry, very quickly. Amanda was just asking, and I just want to make sure that we 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 are answering correctly. Um, sure. In terms of like, how do you get here? Um, you will fly into Male, and then from Male, as the girls were saying, then you depart into either seaplane or the private plane, as Aisha was saying. So always, Amanda, you will fly into Male, and then from there, you figure out how to what's the next move. Um, I just wanted to, um, of course, you're welcome. I just wanted to say. Uh, emphasize exactly what Aisha said. I know when we think about how many planes we need to get to paradise, I promise you it's worth it. But not only that, those 60 minutes that she was mentioning are truly something that you are not even thinking that are 60 minutes because they are just the views of the ocean and the colors and no pictures do any justice, to be honest, to the remarkable you know, landscape of the Maldives. I will say over and over every single day. I know, right? <laughs> Amanda said, I'll take 20 flights to get there. And I'm like, so true. Um, because every single day we were there, Julie and I, we kept on saying the color of the water, the color of the water, it's just, you just can't get over it. Sorry, I had to say that because I feel like it's really important to, to emphasize that those 60 minutes are, are just the overview of like paradise, basically. Yes, yes. You'll yeah. be wasting more time on your phone than that. This, this is true. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So this you can spend on looking at the aerial views. That's of the right. Phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, moving on to, this is just a map to show you uh, where um, everything is located. Of course, on the south side, we have all the water villas and the north point, north, the biggest beach area is where the signature collection the new villas are located, which I will go through later on. And of course, we have the beach villas. And as you can see, when I take you through the uh, room categories, you will know how, what hideaway, the name, how the hideaway is given. Because all these beach villas is me protected by lush greenery and all the rooms have their own access to the private beach. So this is something that we really, really value. And not a lot of Maldives resorts will be offering this um, with its natural lush greenery around. So we have, we also have nine categories of villas, which I will not go through um, so much. We, uh, I'll just go through the signature collection mainly. But as you can see, all these villas, uh, private access to the beach area is huge and you have a lot of privacy and the open bathroom area of the concept is really, really amazing. I love the open bathrooms in all these villas. We have beach residences with lap pool, with uh, sitting areas. And then we have the sunset beach residence with pool, which is uh, one of my favorites if you're going with a family and uh, um, you can have like two plus two in these villas accommodated, plus this bathroom is heavenly. I love, I mean, I love bathrooms and this is one of the bathrooms that you can see. <laughs> um, and then we have the two bedroom beach residences. Um, all these villas are um, designed in a way that more very Maldives and Maldives local styles with patch rules uh, style uh, as well. And then, Deluxe water villas. This is the main entry category of uh, the uh, villas that we have because we have 50 units of these. But these villas are also really expansive with the bedroom and open bathroom concept. Imagine having your bath and overlooking into the ocean, the sunrise, the sunset. It's amazing. And the infinity pool with comes with all the water villas. And then we have the ocean villa with pool. Again, I love this um, room because it's got the um open glass flooring and trust me i have found like octopuses turtles eels anything like under this going just just right through underneath your feet and it's so fun and exciting okay. <laughs> and then we have the two bedroom ocean villa of course an identical ocean villa um room with one of the extension bedrooms here ideal for families so we offer all the room categories for honeymooners as well as families and coming into this, just like the Lily Beach question, we have the categories of uh, a lot of families as well as a lot of honeymooners coming in. Again, when the room, or when the resort is about even 80 to 90% occupied, you wouldn't even know like there are a lot of people in the island because it's such, it's always covered in greenery and then it's a big island. So you don't really see a lot of people. You don't have to interact with a lot of guests. So you have your privacy in this island. I'll just quickly go through our um, presentation of the entry to the culinary experience. Maybe you'll be listening to all this for a few minutes.
yes, moving on to the um, restaurants and bars. We have five restaurants and bars. Uh, the first one is Matifaru. This is our all day dining restaurant. We have uh, meal plans as far as we go. We have all the meal plans. So we have BB, HB, FB, and all inclusive in our room categories. Um, and with all room categories, you can select. Um, and this is Samsara restaurant, which is our Asian and Japanese fusion. So we have our Indian and Japanese uh, chefs here working together to get you the most cohesive fusion food in uh, the restaurant. And we have won different awards also. Uh, and then we have the Miruba and Grill. Uh, this restaurant is located just across the snorkeling area as well as the sunset side of the island. And it's amazing. And towards the evening, you will have... Um, baby sharks and stingrays coming just to the shore where you can like literally they'll come near your feet if you just in the shore area and it's amazing and um, you can take pictures with them and they'll be just going around because we used to right now because of the sustainability and the health precautions and preventions we don't do that anymore but we used to feed the sharks uh, baby sharks before like uh, years ago so because of this they still come and like hang around with us and it's amazing for the kids and you know families to see this experience and experience it uh, we have the Sunset Pool Cafe. This is a restaurant which is located towards the water villa sites mainly. So this is more of like a quiet space where if you want to relax and have a cocktail in the um, towards the sunset time, we have lunch and dinner, most the European and Asian cuisine. And yes, going into the activities, um, Hideaway is such a big island. We have a lot of activities that we provide, including the water sports activities that we have. Uh, we have 30 dive sites around the island and we recently added all the different kinds of water sports and we have e-surfing in the island as well. Uh, we are one of the resorts which have a small water park. So not a lot of Maldives resorts will have water park and this can be enjoyed by kids or even us. I love the trampoline and everything which is around here. We also do um, different excursions. Uh, we have dolphin excursion every day, and then we can do customized excursions and we can take you to nearby islands, um, inhabited and inhabited islands, as well as we can uh, cruise through, through around the island. This is one of the uh, new additions to the hideaway, which is the hideaway majesty. It comes with uh, three cabins. So if you feel like you want to stay one night in the majesty you can do that also and you know be offshore for a while and then come back into the island you can have that experience or just take it out for a cocktail party you know towards the evening time and moving on to the recreations at the island we have a lot of activities that the um guests can enjoy i will take you through a room again and show you the activities So as you saw, we have the golf uh, putting green as well as golf simulators in the island. So if you're a pro or not, you can come and experience it. Uh, we have the Tender Hearts Kids Club and our gym as we speak is being refurbished and it will be open. A new gym will be open this uh, end of this September, end of the month actually, towards last at end of next week. Uh, we also have Hideaway Spa. Again, this spa we provide European products as well as local products. We have the new age healing uh, that we provide with sound bath and crystals, Reiki healing, um, just to give you an idea.
I'm definitely relaxed. <laughs> and <laughs> uh, we have the, yeah, and Hideaway is known for, I mean, since 2005, it started, we are one of those resorts where which category of you, room you, that you are in, we will have around the clock butler service for you. So you are a VVIP guest, whether which room category or where you're staying or how much you're spending for us, no matter what, you are one of our exclusive guests and we make sure that we have customized services that we provide our butlers will be providing for you and moving on to the excited new uh, signature collection uh, that we have added these are just nine villas that we have added but before we go into the concept of these villas i just wanted to uh, give you um, a concept of why how and uh, how is the look and the feel of these villas are maldives is known to be a monarch before so one of the prominent monarchs island uh, utimu is just very close to hideaway beach resort and spa which is just 10 minutes and um, um, it's one of the historical prominent islands and they have kept uh, the palace or the house where the um, sultan has been living uh, even for that today and people still visit there so it's one of the excursions that we do also so we thought why not you know in the day today and now in the age if you are a sultan or if you are living uh, one of sultan friends and coming into Maldives and having a holiday why not come and stay with us in the signature collection you know the hideaway uh, just like a princess it, uh, just by that thought I, yeah exactly I, <laughs> so we could be sultans and sultanas here i you love know? it <laughs> yeah <laughs> um that is all these nine villas are located at the northmost point of more uh the island and it's the best beach area in the whole island itself so that's where it is located mm -hmm. this is the signature beach residence with sunrise pool all our villas, um, the basic category also starts with 130 square meters, but this is just one bedroom. It starts with 350 square meters. The look and the feel and the setting is completely different. It's more into like the Sultan vibe of Middle Eastern Moroccan style, which you can see when you go inside. Um, the carpeting comes from Turkey, the uh, beddings come from Egyptian cottons, and even the bathroom amenities are his and hers will be customized with two little things like uh, lip balms and beard oil and those kind of like, you know, touch customized touches we give in and just to make you feel at home plus you feel like a prince or a princess that you're living in here. And then we have the Grand Beach Residence. It is grand. Um, we have three bedroom villa. This is the three bedroom villa, two bedrooms on the ground floor and master suite on the top. And we have a beautiful gazebo area with a huge pool as well as a gym and a sauna in the villa. So if we have extended families traveling or even group of friends for a bachelorette or something like that who, is, who wants to come and have fun, you can be here in the middle of nowhere in Maldives and, you know, have the most fun and just imagine waking up in this gazebo area and having your coffee and jumping into the pool or the ocean um the interior and is also designed in a way that if you come in with a group of people you don't have to be in the face of each other all the time if you want to have your space you can have your space in the villa and outside and you can be together and have fun also in such a way that it's um design and then we have the Sultan Beach residence which is the four bedroom residence and of course it has to come with a slide also um, and this is one of the um, uh, villas that we have with actually it comes with one more room which is for security or a nanny so we have guests like who comes as John Doe's who want to stay and not to be disturbed at all and they, they want to do everything in the villa also we can do that for you so signature villas come with different exclusive services that we provide we can have private chefs we can have private masseuse we can have anything you ask under the sun we'll provide it for you basically so it's like anything anywhere anytime concept so anybody who's staying in the signature collection villas will have uh, the um, exclusive service of ordering in depending on the meal plan that you choose from any restaurant and they can we can bring it to the villa or we have a dedicated restaurant which is uh for these nine villas also and this is the um, Oasis restaurant and bar and lounge. So this restaurant is um, divided into three areas, basically. So one is a fine dining space where you have all the international fusion cuisine, fine dining style. Plus we have uh, a bar area and we have a lounge style setup also where you can come and have your shishas, enjoy evening sunset and cocktails.
Um, I want to say, sorry, I want to say something about the villas that I feel is super important. Those yeah. signature villas are extremely private. Yes. Every single one of them is extremely private. So, of course, being the big ones, as Aisha was saying, you know, if you have a VIP or celebrities, you know, sports people, anything like that, they will appreciate that. But even couples, honeymooners, the villas, the concept of how these villas were built uh, make them very private. So you really feel you have a direct access to the beach, which again, you can snorkel and dive directly out of the beach. But the sense of privacy, it's so high. It's probably one of the, that's one of the most remarkable things about the island because it's so big. You really feel like that's, it's in your, you're in your own space and yet it's very big, right? So, so all of that. Sorry, Aisha, I had to. That's uh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And as I mentioned, you know, experience your uh, gastronomy in your villa with any restaurant, any food, we can bring it to your villa or even chefs can come and make a barbecue for you in your villa as well. We can bring the spa into your villa, um, all kinds of uh, yoga sessions and everything. We can do it in your villa itself. Even baby sitting or nanny services also, we can do it in your villa if the parents or the family wants to step outside and go somewhere in the island as well. And uh, this is something that I really, really want to highlight, sustainability of Hideaway, because Hideaway being such a natural island also, uh, we have the um, positive feedback or we have the capacity to have local natural lush uh, vegetation. So this is something we just introduced, having greenhouses as well as farm to table experience that we can do for you. So. You can, you know, why don't you go for fishing and then, you know, get your own fish and then have your harvest taken from your, from the ground itself and make, you know, the chef can make a spl splendid meal for you. And what you experience of these kind of uh, sustainability, it's amazing. And um, as Natalia was saying, it's one of the um, beautiful islands. And this is one of the numerous pictures that sells out is what it shows is it's, it's amazing because of the privacy and exclusivity that we provide. So Hideaway is known for its name. You just come to Hideaway in Maldives and get lost in the beauty. Thank you. <laughs> any questions? I think we've, we've gone through all of it, but any questions in terms of how we can book any of these um, hotels in these resorts, um, the Lily Beach and Hideaway as well signature collection, um all can be booked by all the big brands that you all know of if you have a specific question um please feel free to to ask otherwise i think we are going to say thank you everybody for joining us i hope this was helpful um and give you a little bit of an insight of how beautiful um these resorts are fantastic thank you everybody Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies. Have a good day.